We're going to jump right in and talk about commercial insurance. Uh, you know, a lot of people out there concerned about their businesses or their friends or their families who own businesses. Uh, you know, things happened here in Rhode Island where businesses were destroyed. Uh, and, and John, I've got some questions for you, you know, in regards to that. What are some costs, even if someone is covered, what are some costs that these business owners and people are going to be hit with? And what does insurance cover or not? Yeah, so I guess I'll answer the question backwards. We'll say, what are they covered for? What are they not covered for? Um, you know, it really, it does depend on what kind of policy you have. So if, uh, if you're the building owner and you have property coverage on the building and there's bricks thrown through the window and, you know, doors vandalized and broken into and whatnot. Um, odds are there's going to be coverage on the policy for vandalism, malicious mischief, things like that uh, would cover the damage to the property. If you're a tenant in the building, a lot of landlords will only require you to have general liability insurance. You know, it's often when I see a lease agreement from a, a landlord to a commercial tenant, uh, what they're requiring is general liability at minimum. Um, so hope, I hope that those businesses also went the extra step that their insurance person advised them to also get property coverage to cover their inventory in any part of the unit that they own because any damage to the building and a part of the building that they own or any of their stuff that had been stolen, um, I hope that they would have coverage for that inventory, but if they don't, they'd be on their own. If they have coverage, there's still going to be some expenses. The first one's the deductible. They're paying out of pocket for whatever their deductible is. Most commercial policies have a deductible anywhere from one to $10,000. Some have 25,000, you know, it could be a large deductible depending on how much you want to self-insure. So um, the insurance company is going to pick up some of the cost, but as with any policy, if you have a deductible, you're on the hook for that money. And the other cost is, you know, when you have claims on your policy, um, especially in uh, business insurance, you know, homeowners insurance, auto insurance, everybody knows your, your rate can fluctuate. If you've had claims, your stuff can go up or down. Uh, business insurance, they underwrite the crap out of small businesses. Uh, they really, really look closely at their loss runs or their loss history. And that is a huge impact on not only the rate of the policy, but whether or not they're eligible to even be insured with certain companies. So you may find that a lot of businesses that are incur big losses during this time or might even you know, be thrown out of a company, they might get their rate jacked up on them. So <laughs> to say that it's just getting taken care of is, is kind of dismissive of the fact that there are a lot of hidden costs associated with something like this happening to a business owner. The lost income during the time that they have to, you know, uh, Build, build their store back up and put yeah. it in place to actually let customers in. And, uh, you know, not to mention just the mental toll for somebody like I had said, I mean, walking into your place of business and you're just destroyed and you didn't do anything. It's like, that's going to suck. It really does. You know, I, so my heart goes out to people of Providence and the business owners. It's just a real mess right now.